So uh, basically, uh, as we came out, he was shut down a little bit. So again, you're kind of pulling the whole time. So try to rock it. Pull, relax, pull, relax. There you go. As soon as he, he gets one step. So right there, as soon as his foot comes forward, immediately relax the leash. So a little tug. As soon as you get a rela relax. So you're doing it. Uh, I know you're relaxing it, but try to make it more amplified. So back and forth. So a little bit of a tug. Here, let me show you real quick. Was it over the top or? Well, we'd like it underneath. It keeps moving, it's yeah. Moving his head. The yeah. problem is the martingale keeps, uh, it, it gives you a little bit more control, but it prevents us from going underneath. Let me see. I just saw his tail go down. That's why I want to see if we can get him rolling again. Come on, buddy. Let's see how I'm kind of like. You want to almost like see it dip in the leash when you're relaxing. Let's help out a little bit. Let's have you walk to the edge of the driveway. So we're going to kind of orchestrate things. There we go. <laughs> so what we're going to do first is we're going to walk. Comes by so often you don't even hear it. No. <laughs> our teeth grow spreading out. Because that can be a negative sound, we want to kind of not. So if you're walking and the train comes by, just stop for a sec. It's there. That's how those conductors do that shit. I'm, uh, are you filming? Yeah. Uh, sorry, I'm old. But I swear they do that just to you know, get their jollies. Um, I understand for safety, but all right. So now he's panting. Let's go ahead and we're going to walk this way. Turn, you can stay parallel to him. And you're going to try to stay about 12 paces ahead of us. There we go. So what we're doing is basically we're orchestrating things. We have one guardian that the dog is very tight with and the other guardian the dog is not so tight with. So we're putting the, the dog, uh, the guardian that the dog is comfortable with in foot to create almost a carrot sort of a situation. Now I'd like you to try to keep him on your side. There you go, excellent. All right, now I would walk a little bit closer to the pavement so that he can be on the grass so his tootsies don't get uh, fried. And try not to stop, try to rock it coming forward. Pull it and relax. Pull it and relax. There you go. Yeah, excellent. Excellent. And uh, let's get a collapse of this a little bit. Stay right there for a sec. No, I'd have you stay on the street. Okay. So what I would do like that is just kind of, here, let me see it real quick. Once he gets going, I want you to kind of start bringing up your speed. And I, you do the same thing. Bring up your speed a little bit. Sometimes the faster speed is more beneficial for the dog than the slower speed. That's what Head is up. Ears are above the back. Probably just because of the wind. Now it kind of scoots over there so he gets on the grass. Uh, by moving forward. I'm going to have you just walk in the gully so there's no question about getting on the concrete. 